Today, many clinicians are moving away from traditional medicine and crafting a more tailored approach to their patients. In the studio now, we have AJ Vikram Singh, who is here to discuss how AI can be a useful tool for precision medicine. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? So, AI, what does AI mean to you? So, artificial intelligence is basically, you can say, the smart assistance to the doctors and to the scientists. And AI is doing a lot of things which are very useful for the clinicians, for the researchers, for the scientists, and I hope in the future even for the general public. And some of the AI things that I see happen daily to daily basis is, uh, for example, your smartwatch. It takes the data from your sleeping pattern, from your exercise, from your diet plan, and your daily routine, I would say, and it feeds to the AI. Mm -hmm. And then AI follows you back, hey, you are not doing well today. Right. So this is how one of the applications, and if you will ask in the core clinics, I see two important pattern. One is the finding a clear kind of trained our pattern. For example, AI is very smart. Mm -hmm. It can scan, you know, thousands of pa uh, patients' clinical data, and it can tell you as a, as a doctor that, hey, look, this group of patients don't need to take a drug X because it will not work in them. Yeah. And other clear thing, I see the predictions. They make like weather forecast for your health. Okay. So they can scan your genes and they can say that, hey, look, this drug may be harmful to, to you, which mm -hmm. is used from many you know, decades here, right. because right. your genes don't allow it to metabolize. Right. Right. Yeah. So AI is smart. Yes. Is AI intelligent? Yeah, that's a big question. So to make AI intelligent, we need a lot of data. Right. And good data, I would say, because AI is based on garbage in, garbage out. Right. So if you will take the good data, for example, if you are training your AI model only, let's say, the female data, mm -hmm. so its, uh, its predictions will be false, or you can say you cannot trust. Also, I see the problem, mostly the AI data currently in the clinics, for example, cancer patients, mm -hmm. is trained on the Western population mm -hmm. and also European population. Right. And recently, a lot of scientific studies have pointed out that it can misclassify, you know, yeah. when, uh, when you are trying to make predictions and take help of AI. Right, right. So we need a kind of global framework to invite all parts of the globe people to come together and to contribute this intelligent data yes. that you are yes. saying. For a lot of the toxicologists mm -hmm. that are here, mm -hmm. we have a challenge of being able to keep track of an enormous amount of information, not only from the United States and the in the peer-reviewed literature there, but other global manuscripts mm -hmm. as well. So with AI, you're able to really kind of harvest a global footprint of, of what's happening. So how do you try to combat people that say, look, I, I have to read the literature? Yeah. Like how much can you trust? I mean, you, you've talked about it's got to be validated and such, but you know, how do we begin to validate the data? Like, What kinds of things do we as scientists need to be doing to help you to be able to validate the data so we can have more confidence in what AI produces? Exactly, so uh, one very clear uh, understanding, I see we can make it more intelligent or useful by uh, harvesting the data from different sectors of uh, you know research. For example, clinical practice. Mm -hmm. For example, research labs. Right. For example, the omics, different omics lab, which are doing not only the genomics, but proteomics, transcriptomics. Mm -hmm. Then you see m more popular metabolomics. Right. Right. That gives you a daily to daily, you know, how your metabolism is doing. Right. So these diverse set of data, they have been uh, recruited at a central, you know, repository mm -hmm. where expert scientists, I would say data scientists, mm -hmm. are there to scrutinize their to mine the data, okay, this looks good, this looks bad, because these are expert data scientists, yeah, yeah. clinician, researchers, a collaborative team, you know, interdisciplinary collaborative team. Interdisciplinary and apolitical. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly, that's the right word, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, exactly, yeah. I really appreciate it. This Thank has been you. really fun chatting Same with you, here. and I hope that you see my data put to good use. Yes, yes, as a regulatory scientist, we will make it in future 
deal. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for watching SOT TV 2025. You can take a look back at all of our content by clicking the link right here. We can't wait to see you in San Diego for SOT 2026.